Has anybody seen the so darn easy Forex guy? He disabled the comments in his uh, video, so I really can't ask him any uh, probing questions. But uh, take a look at this. Respected it. Okay. It got above the level. Wait, he's. It's and the market respected it. It market okay. respected the trend line on Wix. Did it really? I don't think so. So he's going to attribute that uh, pullback there to something that he can't see yet. Tops become bottoms. And bottoms become tops and close. I notice he's got the red candles down. That's always a nice thing. Visual cue. But I think this little pullback here is based on the fact that there's a bottom here. And we've also come up and filled the liquidity here. So there's a little kickback here. And why didn't he draw a trend line here? And I don't know why he said, well, it respected it here. He missed out the respect here. The Rodney Dangerfield trade, I think he calls this. It gapped above the level. I would have to believe that this market is going to go up. Okay. He'd have to believe that. I'm a believer. It's going to go up. This little hesitation here, there's a reason why I did that. So I there's a reason why I did that. I just explained that reason. And look at the wick here. Why did it come back to the here? Because the backfilled here, he missed his entry. Daily chart. How could he miss this shit on the daily, man? Look at everything. The fact that the market came down to here, all right, the market came down to there, and it backed all the way up. Let's just break all this down. Let me just show you guys real quick. Break it down. I normally don't do this, but let me just show you. Dude. This level. Can't touch this. The bottom. Let's just look left and see. The bottom. One. Now, this is where random lines would have served him just as well. But this is some funny stuff. I'm at one and a half speed here. Okay, it's, it's, it's a pretty decent level. Okay, let's go back further. The bottom, pretty decent level. Pretty decent. I'm going to have to speed him up. I'm not going to be able to hang. He talks too slow. Okay. Pretty decent level. I mean, we're, already, we're back over 10, well, just about 10 years ago. So we know that's a good level. <clears throat> the top one. I mean, we know that it's a good level as well. I mean, it's, I don't need to go all the way back 10 years. We know that that's a good level. So the fact that it got hung up there, it confirms that this was the third attack. And the market didn't go back down, however, it broke above it. Because so you know the market's looking at that trend line and it's got respect for it. It's like, oh, we better not go any higher. And the market's saying, yeah, I know, you can see that trend line, right? I'm like, yeah, man, we better back off. We don't want to get punched, we got respect. So naturally, I would have to reckon that this market will, asc it will ascend. I reckon it will ascend. Thank you, Jesus. It will continue. Uh, hold on, hold on one second, you guys. I do apologize. All right, just don't let it happen again. I can call from the president. Hey, he says, let me let me call you back. I'm making a video. Man, I wish I could do that. Nobody ever calls me. Call you back. My apologies, you all. Family out of town, so I have to not be rude. So, uh, nonetheless, the market broke that level. It ascended. Um, with that being said, my expectation. All right. But look at this auction entry here. Look at this uh, trap. Trap traders here uh, for the breakout that never happened. Man, got to get in there. Then we go sideways, volatility dries up. Look at this wick come back and retest that doji before collapse all. Uh, man, I'm telling you what. Chart's a gold mine. Kind of choppy, though. What I expect is that the market will, <clears throat> it will continue to go higher. <clears throat> all right. I would have to expect it to continue to go and they 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 think I'm drinking. Look at this guy. He just put he just took a big sip of vodka. Higher. Now, this is where it gets a little funky. I drink vodka when I trade the ruble. Because a lot of people do not quite know that people do not know the perfect entry. They don't know nothing about it. Uh, they they can only speculate. Um, and because of that, it you know I want you guys to let me let me just explain this. And they think I don't complete a sentence. This guy's got. He's got subscribers. He's got a membership. He's got an inner inner circle too. This market is in a continuation. If you miss it, <laughs> we're all in a continuation. Pass a point. The object of trading is to get in at the best time. 
we do not know exactly how far above it's going to go. The market could, with all we know, range at this level, and it could break back down. We don't know. It could fall into consolidation, very tight consolidation at this level. But you believe it's going up, so why don't you aim your... Uh, you believe it's going up, right? Right now, we do not know. But when you look at the entire market, when you look at the big picture, you start to see what's going on, okay? You start to see what's going on. So I'm You mean like Al Green? Showing you guys this, just to give you guys enough, all right? Because I want you all to start to, I want you all to start thinking outside of the box. Don't stay contained. Think outside of the box. Uh, okay. I'm with you on that one. How about think without a box? How about think? This think outside the box thing. How about just think? Think and grow rich. I thought that was a joke when I heard about think and grow rich, but I thought, yeah, you probably have to think stuff out before you just go. Um, I'm telling you guys this without giving you, you know, full detail on, on everything. I just want you guys to make sense out of it. Um, if it's something for you, then. <laughs> I'm trying to make sense out of it. Trust me. Take advantage of it. If it isn't, don't worry about it. There's going to always be more opportunities. Okay. And that's that. So. Um, take advantage of the opportunity if you want. If you do not want to, that's totally fine. Um, I just I hope that this is help you guys realize what's going on with this pair. This is the euro. This is a big trade alert too. It's free. It's free trade alert here. GDP. Um, that being said, you guys have yourself a fantastic day. You know anyone who could benefit from this video, any other video that I have on YouTube or anywhere online, um, share it with them. All right. It costs you nothing. It takes a second of your time, but it can provide you know a lifetime of wealth. All right. Knowledge is, is you know knowledge is power. You know you just have to apply it. For it to be powerful. So um, just want to give you guys this, and hope you can make good use out of it. Didn't tell us how to get in the trade. <laughs> this is this is amazing. Gotta love this stuff, man. I just feel sorry for the guy that thinks this guy's gonna help them. How in the hell? At least he didn't drill down on the five-minute chart for an entry. How did this trade work out? Do I have this on my? Uh, let me take a look here. Look, he's right, it went up. But how did you get in this trade? See, here's the respect. I think he had the respect line here. But if you notice the fact that if you wanted to board the train, the place was to place a buy limit pending right here, wait for it to come back to the round handle and get picked up at the, at the station. You could have put a buy stop here for confirmation and you could have risked this much, but here, you could have risked very little, or you could have put a stop here, you could have put a stop here. I'm not a big fan of the uh, structure stop. I think you just pick a, uh, better to pick a ratio than a, than that nonsense. Um, also, notice the monster pivot here. Um, this is supposed to be resistance on the way back. And this is why you see the sellers come in there. I was trying to point out, it's really hard to see with those candles. But this is where the rejection is. It has no nothing to do with the trend line. It just came in because we fulfilled this. Uh, people that bought here, uh, don't forget, people that bought here figured it was going to keep going up. And um, hedge funds that don't trade with stops, they have to turn their books flat right here. So they would get out. Or people that just realize that bottoms become tops. And what where does it smash back to? It's just a very simple up and down game. Uh, you also have the closing price here coincides with this top here. Uh, this, the, the, this is the uh, doji window. If you just put the mountain tops, string the mountain tops together, notice the bottom, bottom, top. The sellers come in, they come in again. But guess what? The game's over when it comes down here and no more follow through the trap. The volatility's low. Buy stops are stacking up. Buy stops from money management bots that are shorter stacking up. It's going to fuel that move. This is a gap open. I don't know why. That's, I guess, the weekend. That was a great trade. And once again, everybody sold here, I hope, for the scalp. Pull back to here, you buy here. So it's you really buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. Um, you don't want to get this a view of the market that, uh, wow, it's going up. And Okay, if it's going up, your buy limits need to be sitting back at the starting gate. Always back at the starting gate. Here's the top, inside the bottom, the mountain, inside the valley. So if you consider this to be a valley, and you see that little 
little uh, rally, the rally in the valley. But this is plenty of data here. Uh, we're going to zoom in one level. I think I'm at maximum zoom in here. There's maximum zoom in. Go to the weekly. And here's the top inside the bottom. If you look forward, it's also a monster inverted hammer. It's also a place to... It's just low. It's a low price. Trend line break on close happens a lot sooner than trend line break on wicks. See how late you are to the game? You're waiting to break out here. But if you're waiting to break out here, and if you're trading Elliott Wave, it's easy to see the waves here. This is wave four. This consolidation, that's wave five. You can see a triangle really easy on closing prices too. This is maximum zoom in on MetaTrader. Anyways, I hope that helps. Um, so darn easy.